everybody. Welcome to the Muppet Show. A special guest star, me. Ugh. Cold in here today. Today is probably no turning today. I'll see how I get on, actually. Uh, but I've got some little elves. Helpers, if I just lean forward and press that button there. We've got our little elves. Look, there we go. we got we got Ruby. Good morning. And we got Joe. Hi there. And we got Brian. Mark, we're turning. <laughs> There we Good are. afternoon, everybody. Today is build day today, if it all goes all right. Building, gluing, screwing, etc. So, if I change the camera, I'll put these youngsters in the background and change the camera from me to thee. You will see the bits. The bits. So we've off, while you lot were away, in buzzed off last week, nobody stayed. I completed uh, this. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little thread on there. This is the piece that hires and lowers the cannon. This is the piece that screws the cannon in. <coughs> and there's a little ferrule that keeps the cannon the right height. And the two side pieces that go on there, I've actually drilled those. They had to be made by hand, as you can see. Right. So, build time. Uh, first things first, axles. So, I've screwed the nuts onto the axles. I'll get it off now. There you go. I've screwed the nuts onto the axles, and I'm going to leave them screwed on while I glue the axles. So I push the axle in too far on the wheel, this being the wheel, of course. If I push it in too far and glue it, then we won't have any play. I completed the base because the base, I couldn't find any um, Bakelite. Anybody old enough to remember Bakelite? <coughs> Bakelite is that brown stuff. Guilty. That stuff there. I didn't have any in the workshop because, you know, it was 1970 something when it was put together. So I've used a piece of plywood and some intrinsic colors. All right, first things first then. Axles, I suppose. Let's glue the axles in. Right. What woodwork go. learner was watching you handle the wheels and he says, why do I think of a new song? Wheels of the cannon go round and round. Oh, I don't know, Andy. Why do you? Would you like me to read out who's watching? Oh, yeah, please do. I'll just glue these two wheels and we can have another stop, can we? All right, then. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. So, in the chat, we have Brian. We have Peter Twisted Trees. Uh -huh. We've got Ruby Claire. Uh -huh. Michelle Oosby. Hi, Michelle. Brian Eltonira de Madeira. Yes. Chris Dodds. You're worried me, Joe. <laughs> me <laughs> too. She loves you, Brian. <laughs> Roger Kent. We have Grandma Ruth Tube. Hi, Ruth. Grandma Ruth Tube. We have Ward Wilson. Dave B. Misk. Lens have to. Hand crafted wood signs. Mm. Oil Hoyton, the Grease Peterna, Malcolm Douglas. <coughs> we have Copper Owl Wood Turning. That's Rob. I'm Rob. It is. Woodwork Learner, Andy. We've got Terry That's Barclay. Paul. Come in, Andy. Right, just to let everybody know what I'm doing there, so I'm going to glue these two top pieces in. They've got to be put in together. Once they're in, they won't come out again. And I'll have to actually, I'll have to destroy the, probably destroy the cannon to get them back off. But never mind. So you carry on, Joe. Fred Gilliver, Clean Sport Abrasives UK. That's Rob, isn't it? Yep, yeah, Rob. We've got Clint at Wood Dancers. Going 
down. Lots of chat between everybody. Plenty of time. Well, Mark has joined us and he wants to know if uh, he missed your singing yet. Yeah, you missed it, Mark. Sorry. <laughs> we have Wifey Woodshed, Sandy. Mick Stratton. I could be finished this before you, Jill. <laughs> Steady. And that's okay. who we have in the chat so far. Well done, people. Did you get uh, Dave B? Dave B miscutted. Right. So far, so good. Get that. I think that's probably all the glue in except the cannonballs. We'll insert the screw into the base. I hope you can see it. This is the elevation screw we're putting in now. Well, this is the elevation screw we're screwing in now. That's so you can aim the cannon. Yeah. Hmm. That's the general gist of the matter. Just adjust it halfway. Do you, think? you might have to turn a ramrod for getting the balls and the miscellaneous Good. stuff into the cannon. I might have to turn a ramrod, yeah. Ruby. It has one. Oh, it that's is. great. <laughs> I'm ahead of that. Okay. All right, screw this back one in now and lock it down. Aston. I want to make stuff, is it? All right, Aston. Welcome along. Welcome along, everybody else as well. Pleasure to have you all here. We've got 36 people watching today. Great stuff. Excellent. Right. No, no. Pete's asking, so did you cut the threads into oak? If so, did you use CA first? No, what I did, Pete, is I, uh, I drilled the hole and put a tap in there, which... Uh, did the job actually the threads on the actual adjuster are cut using the tap as a cutter um because i didn't have a thread in what's the name Hang on. didn't have one of these a thread chasing uh thread thread chaser. Chaser. i didn't oh, have yeah. one of those at the right uh the right thread TPA. And I didn't have a tap with this thread. If I had a tap with this thread, I would have done it that way. So pre rather precariously, I was holding the tap in the holder that you use and then feeding it in and out, which was a bit, uh, you know, difficult, but never mind. Well, if we've got time, maybe you could demonstrate that after a yeah. while. But... I'll, um, I'll think about that. Right. Because it was, uh, I, I actually watched Terry doing that. It was pretty, uh, pretty clever, actually. That's the only thing I could think of at, well, yeah, at the see. time. I thought, well, you know. Right, I'm going to use the heat gun here, I think, to uh, put these little balls in. Cause I've got fat fingers, yeah. that's trouble. Fat fingers don't work very well when you're trying to glue things. I've got to get this right now. One roughly around there. Dink. Right. A little pile of cannonballs. Trouble is when you squirt the glue on your finger, balls. it hurts. No, no, Joe. Anyone who turns spheres yeah. and things like that will absolutely love it. It's not good for me because I've got too fat fingers for the glue. Well, they do make they do make some things called tweezers, you know. Yeah, I left them in the house. <laughs> Ruth's busy plucking her eyebrows with the next one. That, that'll be far too technical for Terry. You After need to, you need to get a set just for the shop. Absolutely, I know. I glue all of my fingers now. Mine sticks quite quick. <laughs> Is it okay? 
you can buy a little dentist bike nowadays from uh, on, on Amazon, and it comes with a nice piece of a nice pair of long tweezers, isn't it? That'd be alright because I've got along, a drill, am I? A dentist drill, along with some picks and um, little uh, ball compressor things. And... I got a dentist drill I bought at Harrogate. Mm, we know. Well, Rob says that there are 36 people watching, and five of them are from the anti-terrorist squad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, making weapons. This is oh, all done by eye, so if they don't match up, they don't match up. My phone just gave me a message that you're... Uh, I'm live. You're, you're live. Oh, look at that. Eh? That's good, really. Technology. Technology's working. It's only 10 minutes late. It's catching up with us, technology. Yeah. Ouch. Hot oh, glue. Hot oh, glue. Stephen, the wood dude, then. Did we say Stephen was in? Hello, did. Stephen. Hello, Hello Stephen. Up. Morning, Stephen. I have to keep up. Is that what you just said to me, Joe? Keep up. <laughs> Keep up, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's not very well today, people. No, he's not. I'll let you off, Brian. He's got no, not um, very well today. Ruby's not very well either. I'm flu. Say, but... Ruby's not very well either. He's got they, they got flu. Well, no, they got flu. They got no. I'm got flu. I've just got something in my throat. Got... So. Yeah. I'm trouble swallowing and a sore head and cough. And... More, more, more of a sinus infection, chest cold. Mm, that's yeah, something like that. They're not well anyway. Yeah. So I'm yeah, sitting there. here dosing myself with lampsips. Lampsips. Can't get in there, us. Are they doing any good though? That's the thing. Well, it seemed to be. Sore head's not as bad as it was this morning. So the paracetamol must be working. Yeah. Watching me is relieving the tension. That's what it is, Terry. Uh, undoubtedly. It's your calming influence, yeah. That's what it is. Your soft, dulcet tones. Chris from Billy Woodworth has just joined us. Hello, yeah. Chris. Hi, Chris. Hello, and Chris. Pete's saying <laughs> Pete from Twisted Tree says, it's bubonic Twisted plague. Pizza, bubonic bubonic <laughs> plague, he says. Roughly about yeah. there. It's good. We had a little bit of a discussion last night about the fact that it, it seems to be internet based. You ought to be in it. It's got to be because you lot are ill. <laughs> Max Ryan suggests, oh no, you've got horse flu again, Brian. No, it's not horse flu. I'm afraid to infect the horses, to be honest. Horses are healthier, healthier than I am. Look at that. Look at that. Take the stringy bits of glue out of the way. <laughs> well, that's, that's, da -da -da. Uh, that's 30 da -da -da. minutes done now, Terry. What are you going to do for the rest da -da -da. of it? Hang on, I've got to do Acom Parisano. Oh, Parisano! Da -da -da -da. Look at that. How's that? That look good? It's, yeah, it's pretty much good yeah, to me. Let know. me go and see if I can see it on the screen. I might have to pull it this way a bit. You know. yeah, just pull just it. down a little bit, Terry. Oh, 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 not too far. Too far? Leave it. Yep. Too far. Leave it. Go back. Oh, perfect. Okay. Look at that, everybody. It's fantastic. That is really nice. There's a white good. van that's just arrived at my house. <laughs> white van's come to take you away. Oh, no, there's, you men, <laughs> there's men in white coats on it. Oh dear. <laughs> no, no, Terry, you you what? had the, you had the one you did in brass. Yes. Uh, already made to copy from. So maybe I you'll have to make a drawing for the rest of us so that we could uh, create one. Well, people have been asking Thanks, me to draw, so I'll, yes. I'll, I will in the, in the uh, near future do a set of drawings so you could copy it. That would be wonderful. And Ooh, are you goody. actually going to put any oil, did you say, on your wood? I am. I'm just going to get that, that, that dry slightly for a minute. And then I'm going to coat it. Because the other glue, I don't want the other glue on on the, these these here. I don't, wanna, don't want the oil to go into the glue. And so I'll give it, give it five minutes to dry. What I do, 
I'll switch cameras just so I can give you a worm's eye view. Worm's eye view. Nice. That's the one I made 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. Retires Very nice. to the other to side of the world. Picks up this one. This is a bit lighter, this. And this is the one I made just now. From Oak. Oak. You get some really nice comments. Um, it's absolutely Terry. fabulous, Terry. I, I, I yeah. like the little nuddled bit on the on the pen at the back. Yeah, and it's and and, cool. and underneath that, the, on on the adjuster, yeah. adjuster's knurled yeah. as well. And they're just like yeah. uh, actually screws in and out too. Amazing. Yeah, it took me. A, well, I think it was yeah. the second attempt to snap the first one. But there we are. And uh, Grandma Roof Tube says, "Wow, now I know you are talented." He is talented. Huh. No she bit. didn't believe whether I made it or not. She said, you didn't make that? No, the first one, the original. You didn't make that, she said? Let me screw that in. It's not screwed in. That's better. So, uh, Rob from Clingsport says, now I know you're an engineer, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. One cannon. Uh, Mick's asking if... Um, not Mick. Brian Elsner is Mick Brian with a Y. Did yeah. you ever work for Airfix, Terry? Yeah. <laughs> I could have though. I worked for the AA, but not Airfix. Yeah, I worked for the AA for 31 years fixing cars out on the road. Yeah, everybody's uh, probably why. Well done and fantastic. Thank you. And that. So Did that's you that. So I'm just going just gonna to give that a little uh, few minutes to dry and then I'll get some Danish oh, oil should. on it. Terry. Clint. Ruth, yes. Ruth, Ruth is saying that now you can sort out the tap in the kitchen, please. I don't, I'd look at it, I told you, I need new rubbers. Got to go get some rubbers, Ruth. Oh, Why aren't you down to the old plumber shop now getting the rubbers? I did. I oh, took it apart. Richard, oh, Josh Chambers. Hi, Richard. I took it apart yesterday. Or was it the day before yesterday? I can't. Took it apart yesterday, and the rubbers are gone. So I've, uh, are, are you referring to washers? The rubber yeah. washers? Yeah, that's well, no, it's, 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 no, it's, it's there's O rings in the. There's, uh, what am I looking for, Danish? There's. Okay. Um, there's a, there's a, what's it call it? Um, okay, O rings that I understand. Yeah, no, there's a tap. Just... All right, the, 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 you got two taps, and you got uh, two taps in a Y shape, and then there's a piece that comes off and goes over like that into the, into that. Yeah. Yes. Well, this bit turns. Yeah. Uh, these taps, right. this bit turns, and there's there's four O rings. But they're not O-rings. They're O-rings, but they're flat. If you know what I mean. They're so they're thin. Square section O-rings. Square section O-rings, and there's four oh, of them. And this thing has been obviously used since whenever. The taps are perfect. I mean, nothing wrong with taps. So. All right. Grandpa, so making a better joint then. In. So and I'm going to get Jim. new O-rings for it. Right. right so I'm going to take this. Welcome. Unscrew this off the. You've got unscrew this off. people watching, Terry. I mean, you'll be lucky, Terry. 42. Oh, lovely old job. Unscrew this off there. Yeah. Hold that on there. Yeah. How do we? Rob from Planksport has just uh, commented there, Terry. He says, Grandma Ruth Tube has to look on the bright side, and now she's got two cannons on the sideboard. There you are. <laughs> See? Look at that. It's even better, Ruth. I think that's <laughs> great. Like bookends. She, yeah, she shouldn't have said that because uh, she, she didn't want the first one. Don't you bring that with us when we move. Don't you bring that with no dear. Don't you bring no dear, I won't. Oops. <laughs> Ruth, if you really it, don't it. like it, you can send it to me. <laughs> well, well, I have to say that the, well, there's, there's a bit of an auction started here already because Clinton Wood Dancer says, I'll give you twelve million million for it, Terry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you something, though, actually. Saying that, you know, 12, 9, 9, all that, right? Uh, this one. I walked out of the the gate of the dockyard where I made it. Yeah, I don't know when it was, 71, something like that. 72. Walked out of the dockyard gate. The policemen stopped me. Like they all stop, always stop you, don't they? We got there, lad. So a cannon. Oh, let's have a look. So we had a look. Took it out of the box. Said, uh, you got a chit for it? Because you had to get a chit to say you could take it home. So I said, yeah. So I handed him the chit, which was signed off by the foreman and all the rest of it. Yeah, he said, that's fine. He said, uh, you can go. He said, before you go, he said, uh, I'll give you £100 for it now. That was back in 1970-something. 
I said, what? He said, I'll give you hundred pound. And another one said, I'll give you 200. I said, no, we left it at that. 200 would have bought me a brand new car then. But there taking we are. Taking it home to my mum. I said, take it home to mum. I'd have been in it if I didn't. <laughs> so that's what we did. Took it home to mummy. Right. Uh, Dana Joyle. And the Clondike uh, craftsman of giant uh, Lewis. Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Another one that's not very well. Poor old Lewis. He's, he's dying as well. What's going on? I think it's catching through the Canadian. It's ca yeah. Canadian Definitely. cold, isn't it? Right, Danish oil. Is that worse than English cold? Definitely. Know. Or Irish cold. I'm gonna coat. Did we say hello to Doctor Bob? Did I miss that? Uh, Bob, yeah, we said hello. Yeah, you just up, you Brian. missed it, Brian. Yeah. Keep up, Brian. You promise me you'll pick up me. No, yeah. not a chance. The Yorkshire gets in. Right. Oh, I know. Hello, Glenn. Hello, Glenn. So this is Danish oil that you're doing. This is Danish oil. I'm just going to pop it on. It'll now, dry in its own time. Was there a reason you chose Danish oil? Only because I can't get into the spokes with anything different, you know, unless it's got to be an oil, as is, ah, right, yeah. you know, it would be difficult getting into the spokes, in Amy, through the spokes, oh. with Amy waxes. Has or... us. Hi, Amy. Amy. Don't need to be sorry for being late. For being late. Yeah, it's all right. Don't, if you don't be this. sorry you're late, just don't be late again. Yeah, don't be late again, Chris. I think it is. <laughs> oh, have you heard that? Not yeah. good enough, Amy. Uh, the sun is coming out to you. Yay. The sun is coming out to me. The sun will be out tomorrow. Probably not here. Yeah, there's tiny little patches of blue sky here too, but the sun's not shining through them, for sure. Yeah, look at that, eh? No, it looks like we have clouds yeah. for the rest no, of the no, day. No, no, Harry, we can't see it. Oh, sorry, I'm in the, yeah, not in, the, the in the right place, am I? Oh, miles away. No, mm -hmm. not good, is it? No. Get over no. You know where there. Well, you know, we forgive you. Hey. Well, you, hey. you're the worms. You need to tell me if I'm in or out or whatever. Well, that's, that's, that's what Brian's just done. Yeah, but but uh, yeah, but I was painting it for ages, and you and you said you can't see you, it, Harry. You keep you keep moving it back and forward. Yeah. I'm gonna be able to get out of it, now. I need to get well, out of Well, wants right. to know if we're watching oil dry instead of paint. No, and we are. We, did, we right. absolutely are. Just you don't have to. You can leave. <laughs> you can join me this evening and watch paint dry if you want. Yeah. So, that, you know, it's all about it this time. It's all about painting, drying, and I go there. Right. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I've already done the barrel. So I don't think I'll do the barrel again until I've done the rest of it and then see what the colour is like. Well, we're starting to do this. Yeah, the DNA show will, will darken it down a bit, won't it? As it goes, each one will darken it, won't it? So. Yep. <laughs> As you can see, the <laughs> difference between that and that. Yeah, and he says it's sunny. It's sunny where he is, so it's about the stopwatch, he says. It won't well, last long. only 12 miles away from where we live, no, so... No. It would have been easier just to get a vat for it and just dip this yeah, straight in it. You, you could have dipped it, yeah, but much oh, more fun this way. You can do for the next one. Much more fun this way. Next one, he says. Yeah, like there'll be a next one. Oh, I don't know what to do next. I meant the next thing. project, not the not the next oh, right. cannon. I'm not sure what I'll be doing next. I might do uh, something different. Well, if anyone in the audience has any suggestions. They can uh, yeah, yeah. In now. That's always good. What would you like to yeah. see Terry make next? Horse carriage. And as Mick has said, don't forget the thumbs up, people, to help Terry become a millionaire. Yeah, sure. Amy has need, said this. I need this another 400 subscribers yet. Look, uh, Ruby, I'm not going to get there yet. Well, so that's true. I'm Amy really says this has been anything. such a fun and awesome project. Brilliant work, Terry. Thank you, Amy. Yeah. Well, if you like, I can un unsubscribe and then resubscribe. Yeah, no, as you no, know, that won't work. Um, maybe. 
Would, would that work, yeah? Hmm. Yeah, it, it, it'll give me one less, and then it'll give me one more. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to do a net gain of zero, then. Yeah. Hmm. Net negative well, gain of zero. We do have a suggestion for you. A small okay. airplane. A what? Small, small airplane. airplane. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Or a easy. train. Not much tunneling in a small airplane, though. Oh. Turn the wings. Out of tunneling channel, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want it to evolve. Use a lot. Spoke to be an airplane, maybe. There you go. I want it to. Bell. I want it to involve uh, turning, you know. Oh, Thanks, uh, Robert Clingsport says uh, seeing, uh, seeing space travel is a thing now. How uh, about a complete Apollo rocket, the same as the one that landed on the moon? Yeah, that's basic turning. I don't think you can do that with scooches with crumbs. Well, there you I'm go. I'm still going to say train. A steam train. Steam train, yeah. That's a good... Uh, there's lots of round things on a steam train. Yeah, there is. Eight wheels on most of them. Pete says he had 335 subscribers in the last 28 days, Terry. Wow. Well done, Pete. Just got to find a new group to post the lives in. I think what's the answer is then, Pete, is because you stopped doing lives, you've got 300 subscribers in the last God knows how long, a few weeks or a month. I'll yeah, just stop doing days, lives. Yeah. I'll stop doing lives. You won't. <laughs> uh, Wait, Wait, says, reach, eh? Go on. Go on ahead, Joe. I was going to say Terry Ballard it says, Joe, we need the song for applying the oil. Uh, oh, uh, no, uh, Ruth. You Terry. Terry. It Terry. Says, it's Terry Brian Bartlett a, that suggested it. Brian Bartlett. with a Y suggests, how about a royal coronation co coach? In plenty, You've got plenty of time before Charles Does uh, get, gets gone. there, yeah. Yeah. Few months to go. Hey, well, I'll just do make a bowl. <laughs> and Amy suggests you could do the rocket complete with the planets. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, now, yeah. There's an engineering challenge the getting, the, getting the sizes right. Then. How yep. about a Jeep to pull the cannon? Yeah. Well, oh, back those in things. those days, they used horses. Exactly. Yeah. Mind you, it hasn't got a limber either. No, I'm Wonder not. A, I'm not a army, army expert, am I? I'm just. Oh, a, say you yeah. were. I don't know what they used to have. Grandma Ruthie says, "What about a nice hot air balloon?" Oh yeah, yeah that's a good idea, but uh, Ruth, yeah, hot air balloon. Jerry, well, what would be nice? Is it? What would be nice? Yeah. Calm Chris, some of these people down. Chris says you could start early and turn an Easter egg. Easter egg. What we'll do then? What we'll do for the rest of forty minutes? Go on for an hour. Uh, Paul Hutton says, "Agree, uh, Terry." As it's off center, hashtag week. How about uh, and then stopped. An emerging <laughs> bull. And then he said, "An emerging bull." All oh, right. Yeah, they're not that hard to do. No. Yeah. And Bill, Chris from Billy Zuberts suggests he likes the hot air balloon theory. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll look into that then. And Michelle I'll says, look into that. football for the World Cup? No. No. Football? That's just a sphere. Kevin, no, Kevin, but then you would have to texture the, you have to texture the panels and, and then do the stitching. And, yeah. Use your new biography tool and Aston yeah. says he would yeah. turn, uh, turn yourself a new workshop chair. Oh, well, he definitely no, no, no nothing, wrong, nothing wrong with his workshop chair. Hey. Yeah, workshop chair is wonderful. Uh, Kevin it's a wonderful chair. Kevin suggests you make an off center goblet. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, let's wipe right off some of this excess oil. So I can. I don't want to. YouTube says that's no good, Kev. That would mess with his OCD. <laughs> You've got you OCD, too, Terry, have you? No, I haven't. Why is that not straight? 
No, what I like, actually, it is an OCD. I, I like to get things all, as perfect as I can. Oh. You know? well, Mike, Mike Stratton did very controversial. He says, you may do a French deflated football. I hope he's win now after that statement, Mike. So you're a perfectionist, Terry. I am, Ruby. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but that's me. That's I like why to get you... so perfect. Not terrible. That's why that's... you you appreciated the work that Jean Claude did. I did. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful man, wonderful work. I would, um, you know, and I can relate to how good he is. Rob from Kling Spars asking, could you turn a chess set? I thought about that actually. Yes, you know. Yeah, I can do. Turn a chess set. I could turn a chess. I used to play chess. I was chess champion in Devon once. Ruth says she puts county. pictures off center just to wind you up. She does. That's, that's she, cruel. She does. She 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 goes and she goes and then walks away. Then I come back, come out of the kitchen into the lounges, and so I got pretty right, and it goes wrong again. I have a friend that when he comes over, first thing he does is walk around and straighten any pictures that are out by a, a sixteenth of an inch. Yes, yeah. I'm the same. I'm terrible. I like things I like square, you know, things that are right in line where they Straight. should be. I am not as bad as I used to be, Terry. Used to be you grown out of that, Brian? Yeah, I kind of have. I used to I used no. to measure the, the height from the ceiling down to the picture, and it had to be perfect. <laughs> I just fitted one of the pictures in our lounge about oh, four weeks ago to ask Ruth what I did. Measured down from the ceiling, measured up yep. from the fireplace, measured across from the walls. <laughs> and then I said to her, is that where you want it? And she said, yes. And that's where I drew those. Put the picture. Right, that will dry a little bit lighter now. It'll be the same color as the barrel then. Once that's done, I can give it another coat, should I wish to. <laughs> Chris Dodge uh, suggests that Ruby's friend is related to him. <laughs> You'd be as bad, Chris, would you? Woodwork Learner has a good <laughs> suggestion. Just get round pictures. Yeah, but they still got to be square. Square mm -hmm. vertical. You could turn a picture and then the, the subject will be out. The subject will be out. Picture will be round, if you know what I mean. Oh. So that would that would drive me even more crazy. Amy's another one of these nutcases who doesn't like odd numbers. My daughter doesn't like odd numbers. She thinks the volume has to be <laughs> at, at ten she or twelve, them. not thirteen. What's that picture like there now? Is that right? has to be in even numbers too. Picture there. Look at that. Though. It looks good, Terry. It really does. That is a work of art. It is indeed. Ah, Brent has joined us. Good morning, Brent. Hi, Brent. Hi, Brent. Hi, Brent. It's an amazing piece of work, Terry. It's only taking you six weeks, like, but it's an amazing piece of work. It's taken me four weeks, Brian. I don't care. It could take me six months. Don't make me laugh, Terry. I just thought it was better than... Just Better than another bowl? Another, another bowl, bowl, yeah. That's it, Ruby. That's what I thought. God, I'm, I'm going to make Better a bowl. Better than another bowl. Tonight. And, you know, I mean, tonight, Brian will say, I'm going to make a bowl. No, I'm not. Um, I'm going to turn a bowl on a stick. A bowl on a stick. So I'm turn a goblet yeah. tonight. Is that what? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then he's going to paint it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> and what right, colors are you going to paint it? Christmas colors. Not Christmas really green tree. Together. Well, you, you'll, you'll just have to wait and see. Red and gold? You'll just have to wait and see. How long have we got now? What time is it? Have I finished? Oh, you've got 25 minutes yet. Oh, yeah. Don't, I ain't got time to turn anything out, so I know. Turn you've anything. Got 50 people. Not watching. even switched on. I've got to wash this brush out in a minute. So. Right, there you go. I yeah, have to there's, do the, that. there's the link for tonight's. Um, Wash out my old cup of tea there and I didn't drink for, for tonight's Christmas goblet or Christmas realize, or whatever it's going to be. Do you realise tea washes a brush out? 
Oh, as well as water. Yeah. I had a little bit yeah. of tea left and I washed my brush out in it because I need water. Oh, oh, my goodness, what are you like? Right. What have we got? 25 minutes. Okay, I'll switch out off on it then. I think. Let that dry. Put that stool out of my head. Oh, Dr. Bob says, Dr. Bob says there's a problem when you measure from the top down and the bottom up. You discover that either the ceiling is out of plumb or your floor is sinking. Yeah, that's the other thing. Isn't it? What are you going to do then? You know, Start ripping the house apart because the picture's not right. You know? <laughs> Kev says, 25 minutes of brush easing. No. <laughs> I'll be with you in a sec, just to... I see, that's a nice gun. Thank you. And the oil is helping it, Dave. Well, what it'll do is it'll just uh, materialise or whatever, and then I'll... Mm -hmm. uh, right, Have you thought where you're going to put it? No. Yeah. It's Probably won't be loaded. Actually. Well, it's getting sent to Ruby, according to Ruth. <laughs> oh, that's that then. <laughs> Ruth said she can have it. <laughs> That's determined that by the look of it. Oh! Right, what am I going to do now then? Uh, go there. Randy says that coffee washes brushes too. Even when you use water colors. Works a treat. These are you. In Grandma Ruth, you've just said, it won't be in the house! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Yeah, exclamation it won't be in the house, that's for I true. can't believe you would say that, Ruth. I... Oh. <laughs> Rob says, there's one cannon for each bedside cabinet. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll You're tell you what, really. Trouble, Rob. <laughs> I, I gave it to me mother back in those days, you know. And I thought, mother can have that, so you make, make mother a make mother thing here. Yeah. So I gave it to mother and uh, she, she passed, kept it. She kept it for a and you got it back. And she but she got she, she kept it for about a year about a year before she died. She said, You better take that can of now she said I'm too uh, I'm too old to look after that and it takes a lot of cleaning. Mm -hmm. I haven't cleaned it must admit for a while. Well you she know said, Ter Terry when I started painting pictures I painted, covered all the walls in my house, and then I did all my brothers and my parents. And when uh, they all passed away, I got them all back again. Uh, that's the trouble, isn't it? I even you don't did necessarily one for, want them back. I did one for my rifle coach, and uh, he passed away, and I got that one back too. Yeah, I did oh, one yeah, for really? my, my mother in 1978, and I got it back. And do, uh, do you know that I collect watercolors, Ruby? Or I collect really? landscapes. I collect landscapes from local artists. Most oh, of my paintings tend to be uh, realistic wildlife. Yeah, Michelle and I collect uh, local artists' work. <coughs> well, I'm, I'm, not I'm not exactly local, Brian. Yeah, you're close enough. You're close I'm, enough. I'm local, but not local. <laughs> I'm local. You're close enough. There's just Good a little bit of water Barry. between us. Terry, right, Terry, what are we, uh, what are we doing now? No, no, I'm just playing. <coughs> I got a half hour. You said you want, you want to put that. Uh, you want to show us how you use the the uh, top and die. The what? You want to show, show us how you cut the thread with the die or with the top? Um, no, well, uh, no, I'm going to need to cut okay. here, really. All right. Okay. I'll do that another time. When I'll, I'll get, I'll get All it. Right. I'll get, I'll do it as a live one day. Okay. Kev wants to know what you just did a minute ago to the live center. Oh, the, uh, there's a, that cone on the top there, that cone on the front actually comes off. Uh, and in behind it, there's a tiny cone. And I, put that back on because it was off when I used it last so I put a, a bar down through there and then lock this one on basically it locks it that's, on that's the axe master lathe center isn't it yes yeah, yeah it comes with the lathe so wood wizardry by Collins in good afternoon hi, Colin. Hi, Colin so we're having to play at something but we're, we're not sure what yet. I don't know what I'm doing really I'm just messing about because I've got to find I, I haven't got um, don't think that's big enough to go in the chuck. Let's have a look. 57 millimeters band. 
there. Oh, it might just go in as it is. Amy DeAngelis has just said babushka dolls would be fun to turn. Who? Babushka dolls, Russian dolls. The Russian. Oh, Russian dolls. dolls. Yeah, yeah, the Russian ones. Yeah. Doll and a doll. Doll and a doll and a doll with a doll. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've never tried one, but you know, there's when other things as well. You'd have a doll collection. Uh, Ruth, no, Uncle, Ruth, she won't want that. She got rid of a load of dolls. And we got married, <laughs> if I remember rightly. <laughs> so no, I ain't rubbish, dude. There, oh. Chucky, there it is. Might fit like that. Give Ruby on a live and, and watch some of that fancy turning that Ruby does. No, she don't see that's the trouble. She mm. buzzes off to France and uses somebody else's equipment. Yeah. Well, hey? actually, actually, if I uncovered mine, I could probably do some of it on mine. See? I knew you had one stashed away somewhere. Well, well, I've actually got two of them. One is oh. made. One is made entirely from uh, nuts and bolts. Wow. Um. Andy, you know perfectly well what chuck that is. You don't have to be asking. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about that, Andy. Oh, I've just uh, that white van that came into my driveway there a minute ago. Yeah. I've just delivered me a parcel from uh, Robert Sorby. Ooh. Right. That'll be an yeah. interesting open. What, you mean you haven't opened it already? Nope. I've been sent a few bits and pieces from Robert Sorby to test and uh, do a review on. Hmm. By the way, t uh, Pete did a really nice... Uh, he did. Review little, on the uh, uh, SC2, Chuck. Yeah, for no, for fixing the dome jaws. Yep. The inside of the dome jaws, when you get them, they come rounded and they don't hold that well. Yeah. It's like putting the drill bit down through it. Um, you create the edge that does hold a piece extremely yep. well. That was, a, that was an excellent little uh, demo if you yep. people haven't seen it. I've, uh, I did the same thing with mine, and I put a 5.5 mil drill bit down through the middle. Okay. It, it turns it into a, a, a decent little gripper. Oh. Mick, Mick the Wood Turney 360 is apparently on tomorrow instead of to, uh, today. It, it is indeed. And apparently it's going to be Les Thorne instead of Nick Agar. Yeah, because um, Nick can't make it. He's something... Something to do with it, the interactive remote demo stuff. You can't make it, so. We're having less on tomorrow night instead. Instead. Yeah, Pete it's, says he used a five mil drill, whereas you used the five and a half. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. I'll use the five and a half because I couldn't find the five. You mean you don't have all your bits in one place? No, Ruby, they're all over the place. It's, uh, <laughs> it's one, of, one of my failings, I have to say. I need to sort that out. So you mean I need to come over and clean up your shop like I did, Pete? Yep, that's, that's yeah. the way you go. Yep, I'll do. One day I'm going to have to stay here and do my own. Yeah. <laughs> I could always I could always pay if I didn't give you a hand with that, Ruby. Actually, I'll just put you on one of the lathes. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. That would do. It. Well, you know that's oh, the nice oh. thing about having seven lathes that if our friends want to come over and turn, they can. Yeah, perfect. I've only got one. Currently. One friend. No, no lathe. <laughs> Currently. It's all right, Brian. You can always use my lid. Uh, yours is a bit far away. 
Yeah, I know. You still could come and use it. I could. Yeah. I can't see in there with this. Carry your glasses in. <laughs> These time is impeccable, as you said. They're right, Gary. It's over. Terry's just messing about now. He's actually showing you how to do a bit of all of them. I don't know what he's making now. Oh, no. Unless it's a goblet. Unless it's a large version of the cannon. You make oh, it a miniature goblet, Terry? I don't know. I'm just playing because I've got nothing else to do. Well, you could have made a Christmas tree to go beside the cannon. Easily. Pete to Trusted Tree says, My shop needs your attention again, Ruby. It's some upside down by I'll the reorganization. Over, I'll, be over, I'll be over shortly, Pete, then, and we'll see if we can't straighten it out. There you go. <sighs> Just that every time I go away now, I have to uh, book a spot at the respite home for my husband to stay in while I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? You can't be out, though, you know. And the problem there is the minimum uh, time they take them for is two weeks. All right. The minimum, blimey. So you got to go away two weeks at a time, then? Or have a week on your own? Yep. Um, Charlie, Charlie Taylor is asking, are you making another bottle, Terry? Yeah, I'm just messing with the... Messing with this, I've only got a little, little bit of time, and I so I'll waste a bit of time. Well, well, Brent wants to know if it's going to be a howitzer or a mortar. Yeah, it's a fairly large caliber, anyway. <laughs> Another day, a few scratch lines in it, but we're only messing so. So I've got to get it flat yet. It's got a bit of a wobble on it. <laughs> Pete says that's okay, Ruby. Lisa won't let you go home for at least two weeks. <laughs> well, if that's the case, I better bring my paints and calligraphy equipment. Well, Richard had a good time at the weekend. He, he hasn't got much left, he says. Well, was that a draft fair great. at the weekend. Excellent, Richard. Good job. I was supposed to do a craft show uh, last weekend and uh, I had to cancel out. Oh, look at that, lads. Chipped out. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. No, it's not very good grain on it. That's why I stuck it on here. Is that your Ashley Ailes? That one inch? Mm, it is. I should have bought one of them when I was there. I think I might have to use a spindle gauge on this because it's. Even though I was careful, it's still chipped out. Do you know if there's a website it's still that, chipping lists, out that lists UK craft shows? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, um, sure, not sure, sure to, be idea, to be honest. Let's have a horrible quick piece of wood. This is a horrid piece of wood. Look at that. Well, this last trip, I brought home a whole bunch of Well, there you go. Yeah, horrible. Look at that. Look. Terrible bit of wood. Full of knots. Uh, 
So I've just found uh, an answer to Rob's question. There is a, there's a, a, a website called thecraftshows.co.uk. Uh, web 2023 dates for your diary. I'll just stick the link into that. No, okay. that's right just a cursory look at it. I have no idea if that's all wood turning or it'll be everything. I'm, I'm assuming that ain't going to work, people. That's uh, not very good. Timber is falling in bits. It's in a bulgo gel, so I don't think so. So there's something that lists some. Uh, some shows, I don't know how detailed that would be, or I just had a, a quick Google search and that's what that came up with. Just turn out on the knot, but never mind, eh? Yeah. Never mind. Um, Kev from KN Creations, if I'll be asked this question already, well, I was away searching there. Yeah. A real question. I've been given a pine fence post with real open grain. How do you get it to have a real smooth, smooth finish as it sands terribly rough? Use your skew. Well, sometimes there are woods that just do that, and um, there's too much nice wood around to spend waste time on wood that isn't good. That's that's uh, that's that's a really good advice too, I have to say. I've I've been given wood by other people and um, yeah, it's horrible it's, some of that, isn't it? It's not worth wasting the time turning. Oh my God, this box has got great big staples on. Woodwork Learner wants to know if you have many homemade tools, and if so, can you show how they were made sometime? Homemade tools? No, I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, I've only got a couple, actually, of homemade tools. The rest are uh, all bought, and all the other homemade are threw away. Well, I easy, got a, a real easy one to make is um, what's called... Uh, a pyramid tool or a pointy tool you just take an old screwdriver and you sharpen the end so that it's sharpened on three sides and creates a little pyramid and when you use it you use it with a one of the flat sides up and it works a treat for making lines and things Bailey Woodworks says he's used a wood hardener or a good sanding sealer for punky, mo punky wood. Sometimes I've taken white glue, carpenter's glue, and mixed it half and half and submerged the piece in that yeah. and then let it dry for a couple of weeks and then turned it. Yeah, that would work, I think. A thin solution of PVA. Yeah. It's a long time since I received a box that was stapled shut. Um, Nick has pointed out that Sam Angelo has a video on making a point tool.
Actually, while I was in France, one thing I learned were a couple more tricks for taking old gouges and turning them into uh, new tools. Yeah. For example, if you have a spindle gouge where you basically have almost no flute left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you take a little abrasive cutter on a Dremel and you cut little score lines in the top edge, you can then use it to uh, make texture marks such as Nick Agar does. All right, okay. I happen to just have one of those. Well, just get too short to sharpen on the uh, pro edge. Well, another one. Uh, sharpen it by hand. Oh, come on. Sharpen it by hand. Get in there, yeah, brother. Well, when I took a class with Alain Mayon, uh, we took old bowl gouges, put them into a a fire, heated them up to red hot, and then made uh, all new tools from them. Right. The one thing you do, though, is if you do that, do not cool the metal off in water. And uh, know, oil. That, know that if you're going to cool it off, don't put it in any old oil because it'll just explode on you. What you want to do is you get what's called a, uh, oh, term just went out of my head. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a special oil for uh, putting the heated tool into. A quenching oil, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've heard of that. Oh, you've got Kevin all excited that you listened to his suggestion of an off-center <laughs> goblet. Oh, all right, okay. I'm just, I'm just, uh, just wasting a bit of time, really. Yes, Rob, that's it, a quenching oil. Big knot here, so this thing might fly apart. Rob says most of his drinking glasses look off center from about 9 p.m. on a Saturday night. <laughs> well, maybe if he started with an off center one, by, by that time it would look straight. Gary says he uses Guinness as a quenching oil. Gets rid of his thirst anyway. Kevin says that vegetable cooking oil is good for quenching. Is it? Right. Didn't know that. I didn't know that either. That's very that's a good bit. Mm -hmm. And as Mick points out, you can also make beating uh, tools 
out of old worn out spindle gouges. Is there a video on how to make that uh, sort of Nick Agar inspired thing, Ruby? Somewhere? Did Nick, no. Nick I put a video up, did he or not? No. no. Not no. for making tools. Right. Yeah. A lot of the tools that Nick uses are um, they're actual, actually for working uh, patterns in leather. All right, okay. And in leather, you just um, take the tool, tap the top, top of it with a hammer, and it uh, puts the pattern into the leather. Mm -hmm. uh, just like a punch or the... Yeah. Yep. Very nice. Well, Kevin makes a good point that remember after quenching your tool, you have to bake your steel again to make it less brittle. Yeah, that's true. Looks like that's becoming a captive ring, Terry. Looks like it, really, doesn't it? Oh, no, it's not captive ring. Right? Is it? Oh, it is I, don't, I can't get in this side. I think I've got enough room. Well, just take a little more wood off the. Yeah, YouTube I'm going to. I'm going to. I don't want to get too far back. But. Well, before they came up with these captive ring tools, that's the way we used to have to do them. That's a captive ring tool. <laughs> I'm mindful of the chuck as well there. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Got anything here? What's this here? Is that made from an Allen key? Yeah, but it's not that way. It's the other way. So I want to get in here, really. I don't think I can with that. No. Wrong, uh, wrong tool. Wrong bit. Hey. That, was, that was one of the first tools I ever made was with an Allen key. I've got an old, old beading tool. That might get in there, but I don't think it will because of the chuck. It's too close. That's the first tool I made as well, Ruby. I have to say. Use the bottom wing. I might be use the bottom wing. Oh, well, good idea. Terry suggested I make one for making the little bobbles for Christmas trees. A little hollowing tool mm -hmm. out of an Allen key. So I made one that's successful too, I have to say. It's full of knots, this thing. I'm expecting it to go bang any second. It's just catches on the knots each time, but never mind. I'm going to get in there. Well, What's could, a more pointy than that? You could always, always leave it attached and it could be a captured, captured ring. It could be. Uh, but you know me, Ruby, I've got a bee in my bonnet now. Yep. Uh, it's got a hand right. now. 
one way or the okay. other, it's coming off. Okay, yeah, it's coming yeah. off now. Hang on, let me think. Right over to the grinder. Oh, da, 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 da. Andy is asking the beading tool. Is it from an old beading plane? No. No, it's just old planer blade. It's an old plane blade. Do you have a pointy tool or a pyramid tool? No. Okay. Not sophisticated as you lot. <laughs> Take the scooter outside of that bead. It will eventually cut through the bit that's attaching it. However, Ruby, what I do have is a pair of calipers. Uh-huh. The sharp edge calipers. Mm -hmm. Just sharpened one edge of it, have you? Well. And I'll sharpen the other side to do that one, right? <laughs> if this doesn't get it off. Yes, Roger, the O'Donnell jaws would help. Back in a sec. Thank you, Kev. I don't need an SK-114. Even I noticed it. Made more leeway then. Hopefully. Way to go, Terry. I am invincible. <laughs> <laughs> I am invincible. Very good, Terry. And that's what makes Terry an excellent master turner. Mm hmm. I'll hit a knot uh, now. This knot will break apart. Away. It's been... Ooh, that's wobbling. There's a knot there. Look. Uh, that knot's about to give up, I think. So if it goes, well, it goes. At least I'll have an uncaptive ring. That's true. Yeah, and you won't be upsetting Pete too much. I'm only doing this for Pete, really. Yeah, we know you. Yeah. Probably make make Mark feel better. See if it's going to fall apart on that knot. Uh, not far off. Not far off. Yeah, put a drop of super glue there just to hold it. Yeah, nice. I'm bothered. I'm not worried if it comes apart, Brian. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What a bit of fun, isn't it? I don't know. It doesn't yeah. look like it needs to go much thinner. No, I don't. I'm just meeting it. You know what I'm like. That's the perfectionist coming out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you sure tell your tools are sharp by the shavings coming off. Nice little peeling shavings if you want, didn't you? <laughs> God, he says peeing ham fair chicken. Well, that's a real old advert for Campbell's soup, I think. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hey, going through university, I ate a lot of Campbell's soup. You could get mm. three cans for 33 cents. Yeah, but it's kind of it's kind of condensed as well, isn't it? Because right. I, you could use the mushroom for a for the base of a whole lot of food. Well, you just got away with that. Just got away with it because it's too far to the chop to get. It's teetering on the edge, is it, Danny? Yeah, much too close. You keep pushing your luck, though. I know. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> what fun, mate. What fun. There. <laughs> so I've got to get it off yet. No, I probably won't come off. Yeah, that's true. Right, yeah. I'll have to use it. Uh, what am I going to do with that, then? Oh, I'm going to have to go over here and get some sandpaper. I can't... Uh, I can't get it any cleaner and get closer to it, so never mind. Oh, it's killing me. Oh, come on. You might have to use the saw to take it off. Yeah, probably. Trump Maruti just said, <laughs> it looks lovely. You have come a long way since slicing your finger. <laughs> What's she on now? What, slicing my finger? Slicing, slicing your finger way down lengthways. Well, when did you do that, Terry? Oh, that was a long time ago, Ray. A long time ago, that was. That's about 15 years ago. Uh, no, well, more than that. Well, 20 not years ago. Funny, Terry, well, we're not supposed to finish the cup before we did the stem. Yeah. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to sand it either. I didn't think yeah, it would last. Uh, I didn't think it would last five minutes. But it did. I'm not going to sand this bit because that bit is yeah, no. nice and shiny. Just thought I'd do this. It'd be a bit awkward to sand when it's spinning too. I mean, it's just some, somebody said, what am I going to do now for the next half an hour? I thought I'll do something. Well, when, just... when you do off-center turning, I was always taught that as you finish doing a cut on an off-centered part, you yeah, sand you know, right sand down it before, it, before you move again. It's true. I was like I say, it was just a bit bit of fun, really, rather than sand something up finished because uh, I wasn't going to do anything. But I thought yeah. I'd waste a little bit of time. I just so, lost yeah. my picture totally. Oh no! Have you gone? Have you? Here. No, it's still working here. No, We're I can okay. see it. Yep. Funny. The, the uh, Rob from Kingsford has just said this piece is called the I don't care goblet. I don't care goblet. Just a bit of fun to see how I did it. It was hashtag week, and you know. Um, Pete has suggested he's called the police on you, Terry. For uh, I thought he might. He's reported, he was reported an illegal uh, captive ring. He, he's ill as well. I thought that'll make him, you know, might uh, cheer him up, but. You've just said, Grandma Ruth, you've just said, the funny oh thing God. is, I, I, as a nurse, my empathy for him was limited. Yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't want him to use my best tea towel. So exactly. A paper towel. <laughs> That's what I'll get, you see. <laughs> well done, else. Ruth. <laughs> I said, because of tea towel, I'm blood coming out. No, no, no. Stay where you are. I'll get this back, In case you didn't notice. Uh, Ruby's back. I never, back I, never, the back I never lost the sound, but I lost the picture entirely. Oh, gremlins! Uh, I gotta find the where my little button is now. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There it is. Uh, there it is. Uh, Gary passed you the ultimate compliment, Terry. He says he wishes his best turning was half as good as your uh, turning. Thank you very much. It's all a bit of fun. Nothing special. Steve wanted to see something, so, you know. Well, I can't take part. Now, you can see it's rattling on that, wobbling on that uh, thing, and you're on the knot. Now, what Never are mind. you applying on it? Danish oil is the only thing I had left of the brush on it, so I wasn't going to bother to do anything else. <laughs> I'll just let you see what the bit of you looks like, this horrible manky piece. 
<laughs> he suggests that would have been the Canadian censorship objecting to the captive ring, Ruby. <laughs> it probably was. <laughs> Lou's suggesting I need more shelving for Christmas. You're probably right, I do need more shelving. Yep. Yeah. So either that, they better start selling something. Or, or selling. She just shouted from the sitting room. <laughs> or selling everything. <laughs> as well. yeah. not, not shoving, selling. Selling. Get rid of it. Get rid of it, Oosby. That's what she's saying. I've just applied to a gallery to see if I can get some pieces displayed in the gallery. Well done, mate. Excellent. Good man. That off, that off. What am I looking for here? Can't find it. Can't find it. There it is. No, it didn't. There's something out there. It is. And Lewis says, don't, don't be joking about the Canadian censorship. They're working on a new bill to do just that. Well, wow. just what we need, eh? More censorship. Um, Terry, uh, uh, has Ruby disappeared again? Oh, she has. She's back again. What's... Ruby, what's the matter with you? Why do you keep going on me? I don't know. You just keep disappearing on me. You had too much sherry last night? <laughs> too, too much sherry. <laughs> I think I didn't have enough. <laughs> uh, it's the face side of me. She'll just walk past my... Uh, Office window and stuck a tongue out of me. That was very pleasant, Michelle. Yeah. Have you been upset enough? You always upset, sir. Probably he hasn't been paying her enough attention. Yeah. She's a wood coming widow. Don't you say you, you say cheerio to her when she goes to work, do you? What? Yeah, I do. I. That's enough attention. What's the matter with that? And, and I say hello when she comes away. There you are. See? What's wrong with that, Ruby? Really? <laughs> Paul Cameron. You just ignore that he says. She's on her way down to unlock the workshop for me. <laughs> Indeed, Paul, she is not. She's famous for locking the... the uh, locking them in. Workshop. Even sometimes when I'm still in it. You're going to finish it off now with the saw? Ruby. Grandma Ruth says, good for Michelle. Yeah. I think Ruth and uh, Michelle are kind of tabbed with the same brush, I think. Kind of have the same sense of humor. Hmm. And Ruby might not be far behind either. It might be an age thing, Brian. It might be. <laughs> Although they're both younger than I am. Uh, yeah, Michelle will be certainly. Yeah. I've just opened my rubber sorby box and I've got a box full of little, you know those little polystyrene S things? Oh, yeah. What's it? So that's the word, Michelle. Yeah, what's it? That came out nice, Terry. Lovely, Bye, Terry. Two minute yeah. work, wasn't it, really? It's uh, going to the bin in a minute, but, it, you know, at least I've got a captive ring on there, you know, just repeat. Or well, you can put it in the box with my uh, cannon. I oh, wouldn't say that Ruby's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Better yet, I guess you could send it to Gary. There it is. No, oh, hang on. Who's that? <laughs> I think that's great. I okay. love that. I love that cannon. I think you did yeah, a really so job on it. Beautiful job, Thank you, babe. Right, so that was that for uh, my live today. Rebuild, regroup, and renew. Rebuild, regroup, renew. Well done, Terry. 
Excellent job, Matt. I'll take a picture of that Brilliant. rubbish just so Pete can, uh, Steve can say I've actually took part this time. We well, can. That, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Just a bit of fun. <laughs> Rob, Rob from Clingsport says it's a bit small for my false teeth the fan. <laughs> <laughs> and Ruth has right. said you have done oh. a wonderful job, seriously. Who said that? Ruth. Ruth. Oh, what's your, what do you want this afternoon? What do you want, what do you want me to buy you? Yeah. Thank you, dear. Love you. <laughs> well, there we are. Wasn't that good? Worth five minutes to turn when they read, well, whatever hour. Wasn't it? Uh, uh, three quarters of an hour. Something like that. There. Just a bit of fun. Just to say I've took part now in the hashtag off sender, which I wasn't going to. Well, well done, Terry. Because I was too busy. Yeah, no, But right. uh, I've done that now. So that's that. Oh, because we did suggest it, so I thought I ought to take part in it, really. Right. Yeah, yeah, you can. It was your suggestion, to be honest. It was. Right. Mobilizations. Here they are, back again. <laughs> We're back. Right, everybody. Thank you so much for coming in and uh, playing your part by taking the mech of me. I appreciate it. That's wholeheartedly. No, oh, thanks um, for having us along and uh, showing us that cannon. That was, that was yeah. really well done. Yeah, so that's, uh, I don't know what it was, but that video will go up on the website, uh, not website, up on my YouTube channel as uh, I'll put it in a, a playlist in case people want to go back and see it again. I will endeavor at some point, not too distant future, I shall measure it all up, draw some line drawings, put some measurements on it, and I'll get it somewhere so you can download it or copy it or whatever. It, and, have a um, go. and have a go yourself. Great. And then uh, you won't have to badger me about it. Any questions? Email Brian. Okay. <laughs> so thank you very much, Joe, for being here today and helping me out. You're welcome. Thank you, Ruby, for doing that the You're same. You're more than welcome. And Brian, thank you for being here even when you got a cold. Thank you, um, Terry. And thank you, everybody in the chat, for coming along. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you yeah. all tonight, possibly. Yeah. Brian, time. have you put your link in? Yeah. Yes, Terry. What time are you on, Brian? Seven o'clock GMT. Take note, Ruth. Brian's on at seven o'clock. <laughs> Just to let you know, everybody, there we are. Thank you very much. That's It's been done now. I don't have to do another one for a long time. That's it. Now it's 50 years, that. Terry. Next 50 years. Yep. See you all then. Then, <laughs> then you can make one out of whatever the, the material of the day is. That would probably be something like I'll be turning glass by then when I have something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> turning some structure that come from outer space. Ooh, you could turn it out of soapstone. Ooh. Yeah. If you send me the 300 tools, I'll need to do it because I'll be grinding them away every two minutes. Well, that's true. A soapstone's yeah. not that soapstone's, hard. Oh, it does. It takes the edge off. Heck of a quick. Yeah. I've got to know. Yeah, sure. now, now I've got to go and re grind these. You've got a sharper system. So these, calip there. these calipers, because they're sharp now, instead of being nice and smooth and round. But that was the only way I can get the ring off without, because I didn't have a tool to do it. I will do. I'll make one now. I'll just take this apart and use that as the captive ring tool. I really think. Get another Kev set said, to Kev, use, Kev at 9K says, we're all going to seven. Of the, uh, I went first and then uh, Steve followed. So it's just us two, I think, it's went to seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Yeah, yeah, it's... Basically, it's too late for an old man like me to be sitting up, earworming. So they can't, want me, they've got to lower it. Keep, yeah, can't so keep Terry bed past his bedtime at no, half past nine, you uh, see. You know, I mean, every night I've got to crawl into bed and Ruth's already nine hours of sleep. I might yeah. get there. So, you know. <laughs> well, okay. Posted three says, graphene is next. Graphene, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you could do that. Make it out of graphene. Yeah, Pete could do that, yeah. Yeah. All right, Pete, look forward to you watching you do that. Thank you, everybody, in the chat for coming in, taking a mic, yep. and I'll see you all again next time, if there is yeah, one. Bye, bye, everybody. Everyone. Well, we bye. have a good week. I've got to find out how to do this now. I'll press that button there. Ah, pizza. Press, press, press the button. button that says Bye-bye, everybody. See you all soon. Bye -bye. Time to go. <laughs>